Welcome to the course on building a house using Autodesk Revit. In this lesson, we'll cover what you will learn from this course. Starting out, we'll first look at the Revit interface. We'll discuss the different properties, the different areas, and the different components of Revit. We'll look at the ribbon, the icons, shortcut keys, and a general overview of how to manipulate and customize this interface. From there, we'll start to talk about the Revit project your building or this house that we're going to create. We'll look at the different ways to create a project from a template. We'll fill in information for the project, such as your site, address, maybe the firm that's building this, or you as the owner. We'll then look at how to save the project. With the project saved, we'll then look at creating the architectural elements of the building. We'll start out by creating a grid or a pattern of grid lines. We'll use that pattern of grid lines to place our columns. Once our columns are placed that would support the house, we'll add our foundation walls. From here, we can add beams to the foundation and to our columns. After we have our beams and our foundation and our columns placed, we'll start to place the rest of the walls for the house, both the exterior walls and interior walls. With the walls placed, we'll drop in floor systems or different types of floors. We'll then create doors, windows, and openings within our walls. We'll place stairs. We'll add railings to stairs. And then once we have these architectural elements created, we'll move on to other things such as the roof or the reflected ceiling plan. With all of those created, we'll then look at the interior design elements of the interior space, such as creating a kitchen or a bathroom. And then we'll move into the site, creating the actual driveway or plants, shrubbery, sidewalks. After all of these architectural elements have been added to the building and to the site, we'll look at detailing. Now detailing consists of creating your actual sheets. And on those sheets, we'll place our views. The views will have dimensions, callouts, and we'll also include detail elements. Now those could be floor plans, section views, elevations, or even material takeoff lists. We'll also look at other types of documentation, such as your cover sheet or your table of contents. And lastly, we'll end with presentation, meaning we'll render an actual 3D scene. And after we render the scene, we'll create a walkthrough of our space. So I hope you enjoy the course on building a house using Autodesk Revit.